one of the best first things to do on a completely degraded site is get some infrastructure in place to start moisture penetration. If you don't do anything else, do that, get that going, and then maybe you bounce over and you do the expansion and you keep checking on the original site to, to see what kind of a seed bank is there because the land is gonna tell you the seeds are gonna come up, whether they're weeds or what have you, uh, which is exactly what happens after you build rock structures. Uh, you wait for the vegetation to come in so that the rocks are just sort of that first step in holding things in place and the vegetation will knit your rocks together, knit the banks together and uh, give water a chance to infiltrate and support all the other species, uh, flora and fauna. So what we're doing with our rock structures, building things that are fairly passive, right? They're holding sediment, they're holding water just for a little while, but they're also letting it go. You've got to just let it go. And I love that idea as well. When we're working up here and we're building structures up here, we are in fact supporting the spring below because we're reducing the chances that any of the existing structures down there are gonna blow out in a really big storm. So in spite of the fact that, these, that the structures above and the structures below are disconnected by probably a couple hundred yards at least, they are going to work together and it is not impossible for us human beings to get our minds around the fact that these systems are functioning in tandem with one another. The parts are orchestrated in a sense and they have been since long before we got here. What we can do is come and play along and play in tune with what's already going on in the landscape without trying to build something that's too aggressive. Like the one down here is a really good way to go so that when you build your rock structures, it's not, they're a little bit deeper on one side, on the uphill side maybe, or on the downhill side. And if your goal there is to build those little pools, you can line those pools with flat stones, right? And even if the water stays for a few hours, sometimes that's all you've got. Mm -hmm. It'll be the only place you see butterflies just erupt out of the, the soil.